Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. It's Quote, and I'm back with another episode of In the Sand. This is episode number three with Gucci from Flashbang Esports. Gucci's team actually ended up winning the first ever REL Insurgency Sandstorm tournament, and he's been gracious enough to sit down with me today. So, Gucci, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with me, man. I had no problem, man. Excited to be here. Dope. So let's just jump right into the start of it, because I kind of want to know your backstory. How did you get started with Insurgency? Well, I always am like a competitive gamer. I always wanted to, you know, get into the esports scene. Always wanted to go pro. Always wanted to make it a living, because I just I love to compete and I love video games. So it's like, best of both worlds, that's what you do. So I've been hopping from game to game over time. Like I started with like Counter-Strike and like team fortress 2 like really early on uh transferring over to like siege and stuff like that siege was the last game i played at an esport level before insurgency and uh it was really just like getting boring to me like with, with a lot of the games like it either like i hit like a limit or it just doesn't interest me anymore and while i was playing siege vega who is one of the owners for flashbang esports he's like a really good friend of mine he like hit me up he's like yo there's this new game out it's called the surgery sandstorm it's like super it's like basically like siege and like counter-strike it's like all mixed together best of all of it. it has a unique game mode and i tried it out and i just fell in love with it ever since that's awesome so you actually didn't have any experience with the first game with source you just kind of like you were playing prior like uh competitive shooters and you just had you heard about it from a friend and was just like yo let's pick this up yeah that's awesome did um so you mentioned uh your friend vega so i uh, vega i know i don't know if the listeners know but vega is one of the founders of flashbang so did were you one of the founding members of flashbang did he bring you in from the start uh how did how did your relationship with flashbang begin well he uh he wanted to make a whole new org like flashbang is actually really new like it just started basically with the start of the insurgency team and he came to me, he was like, uh, yo, we're getting these group of guys together. We want to make an org. We want to, like, build a community. And we want... And he, he tasked me with being able to start a team. And it'll be the flagship team for the org. And that's just how it started. That's pretty dope. And did, um, I guess, as far as picking up the players go, what was that process like? Uh, like, fleshing out the team, fleshing out the roster? Yeah, it, it took a lot of tryouts. Uh, I... Uh, to me i'm very strict i know the players that i want and even in the beginning i didn't really get the roster that i fully wanted but it was like a time limit uh dgl qualifiers were starting and we need to finish the roster but now i'm happy with everyone on the team and basically i hit them up they're all lft tried them all out and i, I love them all i think we are a really solid team I mean, obviously, as evidenced by uh, this first tournament, because you guys finished in first place, um, you were one of the consistents throughout the tournament, and I and I I attributed the flashbang victory to not only your performance but also like the various members playing off of that and playing off of that kind of uh, stability that you provided. But from your point of view, how did the tournament go? Like all in all, I mean, obviously the the, the team did great, but how did you feel about the format and your your own performance? um i think it, it's ariel's first first tournament like this right correct yeah so based on that like it went really smoothly and it went really good i mean there was like a like a few bumps one of the biggest one was probably like uh third person spectate wasn't disabled but i managed to bring that up and they quickly disabled that and that went really smoothly so that was like very fast fix by them and other than that i mean the tournament went really smoothly. The matches were smooth. And the production quality for casting was, was really excellent. Including your, your mostly yours, quote. Oh. I mean, stuff Shark is, stuff stuff me... Shark is good as well, but your casting is incredible, and I'm sure a lot of people will agree. Don't make me blush. But thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, so, I mean, all in all, like I kind of, I, I vibe with that. It was, it definitely went better than what could have been expected for like a first tournament. Um, 
And I think that leading into that, I think a lot of people were waiting to see how it went. And the fact that teams like yourselves and uh, even like BDB and Regicide, the fact that they were willing to stick their necks out and try it out, um, it means a lot to not only myself, but also the other guys who um, are staff with the REL. Um, so leading into the next event, because obviously you guys are the defending champs, so to speak, for the uh, REL tourney system. Uh, what are your goals to obviously to repeat, but what are your goals like personally um, as a player and as like team captain? Um, what are your goals for the team going against like maybe there's particular matchups you're really dialed in on winning um, with the introduction, of course, of Veritas. They've already bought in. There's the potential of blue buying in too at the time of this recording. So what's kind of like your goals to further progress flashbang? Basically, it just comes to being consistent, you know, just putting in time more than the other teams that's your competition. Like, uh, when we first started, Veritas was such a dominant team. Like, we were new. People didn't really know about us. They thought we were awful, you know. They probably thought we were awful coming into the REL tournament, but we've just been putting in so much time and effort, everyone on the team, of just, like, practicing, scrimming, making strats, and from being in the DGL qualifiers and getting killed by Veritas 11-2, we managed to come back and now we can almost like go even to them like in scrims. And we're excited to see how we're performing not only the DGL playoffs, but I'm sure we're going to face them in REL for the next tournament. So Right. Safe to say, though, it's going to be a... It'll definitely be a slugfest. Yeah, it's, it's I look forward to it. Like the teams this time, like I'm actually very proud of like oh, how a lot of teams performed because i didn't see like veritas in there i know bdb was in there but a lot of the teams came out swinging hard and i'm glad to see it and we're going to be careful next time for this next tournament because it is going to be a slugfest like you said yeah and i'm really excited to see it i'm really excited to see more uh clips and uh since i'll be able to actually cast both days uh hopefully I'll, i won't actually have to post haste get to enjoy the plays that you and the other guys do <laughs> so <laughs> But I really Sorry. appreciate you. Yeah, man. But I really appreciate you sitting down with me. Uh, I know we want to keep it nice and short, and I know that you have other stuff that you could do. But I really appreciate you sitting down and chat with me, brother. No problem, man. Just, I want the scene to grow as much as you do. And that's and I think that's that should be the goal of all the players moving here forward. So, uh, again, special thanks to. Um, and before I go, also I wanted to just. Do you have a Twitter um, I can throw down in the in the description? Uh, do you have a Twitch? Is there some other way I can shout out while I got you here? Sure, I could. Do you want me to just like DM you? Yeah, you can just you can just straight up link it to me, and I'll just put that in the description of the video as well. Awesome. So anyway, guys, that's gonna complete this interview. This is episode three of In the Sand, featuring Flashbang Zone Gucci. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, until next time. I will see y'all around. Peace.